Okay, here we are in the math section, and we're going to go right into right triangles. So some little trig here. Uh, if you know the hypotenuse and the angle opposite, you can see how I've got these labeled with large alphabet or small alphabet. And you type in the two you know, hit calculate, and it gives the other three. There's nine combinations of knowing two sides or one side and one angle. And you'll see here which two you know on each one of those. It's a nice way to break it down. The sign bar on a 5 inch sign bar, whatever degrees you're looking for, degrees and minutes, hit calculate, it gives you the stack height of Joe blocks. Mean dimension for uneven tolerancing. Okay, let's just go in here and say we got a dimension of 1 inch and 98 thousandths. And we got a plus tolerance of 4.5 thousandths. And we've got a minus tolerance of 2 thousandths some kind of a fit that they're looking for. What you're going to have is the mean, the high, and the low. Nice and easy. Obviously programming to the mean, but this just spits it out real nice and easy for you. Some calculations are real easy. Sometimes it's pretty difficult. Uh, you can get the numbers twisted around. This makes it nice and easy. And then there's uh, several conversions, metric to inch. Uh, you'll see horsepower, kilowatts, uh, pounds and kilograms, temperature, torque, across the corners, on square or hex, length of diameter ratio, and millimeter pitch to threads per inch. That's also nice, comes in handy for programming. Estimating calculations, you can figure out how many inserts you're going to need by edges per insert, inserts per cutter, and how many parts per index. It'll calculate how many, how many inserts you're going to need, which is really nice for estimating. You can also branch off of that. It'll tell you if you got a $10 insert, uh, that you're putting a nickel per part into uh, a job or something like that. Lathe cut time, mill cut time based upon length of cut, feed rate, surface feet. Manual mill based off of time and length. Production hours needed to run a job. Feed of material needed to run a job. And uh, three things that salesmen like to have is how much uh, profit they're going to make, what the price would be if they're going to discount it off of list, or if they know what the list is with their discount and what they want to make on it, how much they sell it for. For the, those are real nice things to have right in your in your hand with your iPhone or iPod Touch.